What's going on, guys? Jada Black here. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about Tiger Woods, man. Uh, Tiger Woods uh, got some criticism from the wife of fellow golfer Pat Perez. Now, she took to the Instagram page of one of these uh, golfing Instagrams, and I, I guess it was, you know, Tiger was talking about his career maybe coming to an end because he wants he, he can't walk the course you know he i guess he's gonna need a a golf cart exemption because that's what a lot of people in the comment section were saying tiger needed that right and she took this as an opportunity to take a dig at tiger woods by referencing a car crash where you know he got messed up pretty bad in that car crash he lost his life but that didn't matter to her because she wanted to let the world know how she felt about Tiger. Now, the reason why she took this shot at Tiger is because Tiger is not a fan of Live Golf. Live Golf is a Saudi-backed golfing. Um, I don't know if they're touring, but I, I guess you call it. It's kind, of, it's kind of similar to the PGA Tour. And they held one of their recent events. And they're spending a lot of money on, the, on these golfers. And... Tiger apparently was offered a lot of money and he turned it down, but Pat did not turn it down. <laughs> you know, Pat did not turn it down. Pat, you know, he, you know, he got a wife to take care of. So he decided to take the money. And I think there's always been something between Pat and Tiger because he's spoken out against Tiger before. This was back in 2017. And he didn't know. Has something to say about Tiger, but when you add in the fact that you know this man's wife has an issue that she took to his that took to that Instagram page to air him out for really no reason because you know if your husband who's a, a golfer that he you know that is out there as well known um you should stay out of it, but I guess because she feels like. You know, Tiger not taking that live golf money and him basically saying that's not for me. I'm not going to support it. She's feeling some type of way because, you know, Pat Perez got, you know, a nice size, uh, sizable amount of money to participate in live golf. And she probably feels like, you know, Tiger speaking out against live golf is going to affect the money that he gets. So it's the money that she gets. And she had to go private on Instagram because people screenshotted what she said before she tried to delete it, right? Uh, and once again, man, these wives, you know, these these wannabe reality TV stars, because that's probably what it is with her, uh, they tend to try to get involved and try to start issues when there really shouldn't be none, right? If your husband is doing fine doing the live golf thing, then you shouldn't have to go at Tiger for that and in reference the car crash. Now, I don't know if he was drunk because that's what she she said that he was driving drunk. But let's get into this article and get more into it. <clears throat> uh, Tiger Woods recently spoke candidly about his PGA Tour career winding down as the host of Hero World Challenge. Tiger discussed how the walking is what is holding him back from tournaments. After his accident, doctors weren't sure if Tiger Woods would ever be able to walk again, let alone play in the PGA Tour event. It is a borderline miracle that Tiger is able to compete on the PGA Tour at all, even if it's just a handful of events this season. each season. Tiger discussed how his career is winding down and getting to a place where he will only play the major championships and a select few others because he's unable to walk the course. The, PG, the video, uh, video clip of Tiger discussing this made the rounds and was posted on Instagram at Golf Balling. Pat Perez's wife, a Ashley Perez, took to the Instagram comments to attack Tiger Woods as the Live Golf PGA Tour tensions continue to simmer. Pat Perez's wife wrote, literally, why driving under the influence is illegal? I don't feel bad for him. Thank God he didn't kill anyone. See ya. And that's her there. And she ended up deleting that and putting her account on private. See, this is why you should not say things 
if you know you're going to take it back but she spoke out of emotion because her husband her husband pat doesn't like tiger and neither does she and she doesn't like tiger because she feels like you know tiger woods is going to take away her husband's ability to buy her more chanel outfits so that's why she's feeling some type of way about tiger woods but i don't think tiger woods has spoken out against her husband i don't think he's made comments about her about him but because she feels disrespected and she wants the world to know how pissed she is because again tiger woods isn't in support of live golf and live golf is putting more money into the, the pockets of the golfers which i have no problem with but it but the pga tour does and tiger is loyal to the PGA Tour, which is interesting because the PGA Tour refuses to allow him to have a golf cart exemption, which shows you that all that loyalty doesn't really buy you much loyalty from them. But that's a separate topic. Uh, after Pat Perez's wife, Ashley Perez, took vicious, unsolicited shots at Tiger Woods, she appears to have taken her Instagram account and a 408000 followers private someone pinned pointed out retired toronto maple leafs player carlo is hilariously caught up in this feud which is something that slipped my attention until now here's a video with tiger's comments can hit golf balls it's the walking it just hurts the goal is to play just the major championships and maybe one or two more that's it i mean that's physically that's all i can do and i told you that guys you know the beginning of this year too I don't have much left in this life, so um, gear up for the biggest ones, and hopefully, you know, lightning catches in a bottle, and uh, I'm up there in contention with a chance to win, and I re hopefully I remember how to do that. So I was saying that he's at the basically at the end of his career because the walking, right? The walking. They should do something to modify that, but you know, again, you know. <laughs> If they're not if they're unwilling to change for tiger you know they got to understand tiger is an attraction right he stayed loyal to you he didn't go over to to live golf uh, but you know they're not showing that same loyalty to him right allowing it to make it easy i guess they feel like if they make it easy for him they make it easy for everybody else but that's really not what it is this guy is a legend and he needs to be treated as such you know i mean look at what this guy went through i think he was on bed rest for what 18 months it is a miracle he can walk these golf courses and play i notice he's been playing more with his son which i think is, is is really important to him as well you know but to ashley perez i think that women need to stay out of men's business if your husband doesn't like tiger woods then it needs to be him who's doing the talking and not you a uh, tiger did not take any money out of his pocket tiger is just not in support of live golf you know and if he isn't then that's on him it's not up for you to say these things about him about a guy you probably don't even i mean pat probably knows him but maybe you don't i just think that she really thought that she was cooking as <laughs> the kid will say in the comment section and she got cooked to the point to where she deleted her comment and and went and put her page on private i know it bothered her because she wants everybody to see her you know to not only get followers but for people to you know to view her right might be some some narcissism there ultimately i just think that you know when i see women speak out against tiger woods it's always funny because I, I, one of tiger's ex-girlfriends after he got divorced was a female that mocked his apology press conference only for her a couple of years later to divorce her husband and to start dating tiger woods so this could be a situation where she probably wants you know maybe she's seeking tiger woods attention you know so tiger woods you know he keeps himself in a bit of a bubble even though he does interact with the other players uh he's still the main attraction i think that bothers guys like a pat perez who who's been on the who's been touring for years and was never able to be given the type of notoriety 
you know, or make the same type of money. And that can bring envy and jealousy. It really can. Because he has to appease his wife financially some type of way. Pretty much every comment is saying that Tiger Woods deserves a car exemption. Golf fans almost unanimously believe that Tiger Woods deserves to be able to use a golf cart to keep competing. The PGA, the PGA Tour doesn't see it that way for now. And Pat Perez's wife, Ashley Perez, doesn't seem to care either way. Pat Perez himself recently accused Tiger Woods of hypocrisy over live golf criticism. In response to Tiger's comments about financial security, Pat Perez said, that is the stupidest I've ever heard in my life. That's one of the stupidest things I think he has said. The incentive is the fact that the last place is 120,000. First place is 4 million. You cannot win 4 million in a, on a PGA tour. Now, next year, you might. They finally got the perks. But last time I checked, he signed a $40 million deal right out of college, was flying on a Nike jet, and found and he found incentive. He could have shut it down right then. Right, right then. Uh, for his part, Pat Perez was the first former PGA Tour golfer to give an incredibly honest answer describing the reasons he joined Live Golf. Perez says it's simple. I'm 46. I've been on the road since 1998. It's like winning the lottery for me. I couldn't be more excited. Well, then that's good. That's that's good that you know he's excited about that. I ain't, I ain't got no problem with these golfers going on live tour, and making more money, to live live golf and making more money. You know. Tiger Woods was arrested in 2017 near Jupiter Island for driving under influence. Of alcohol and drugs, he pled not guilty and underwent treatment. Tiger Woods completed a first-time driving under the influence offender program and later pled guilty to reckless driving. Woods then famously suffered a 2021 car accident that nearly cost him his leg. And again, I didn't hear anything about there being some sort of uh, driving under the influence. I didn't hear about that. I really didn't. What I do know is that... Ashley Perez, I guess, took it personal when Tiger wasn't accepting of live golf. Maybe she feels like, I mean, listen, if your husband isn't that that successful at golf to the point to where he's not getting big purses, like he's he's not making a lot of money, you know, it's because one, you know, like Tiger Woods, he made a lot of his money outside of golf with his endorsement deals. Tiger has had a ton of endorsement deals. You know, if your husband ain't getting the endorsement money like that, it's probably more to do with him, right? Uh, I don't think the PGA Tour is probably paying that well because it's golf, you know? And But they, they've still been able to have a mainstream appeal due to Tiger Woods and really hardly anybody else. I mean, will golf survive without Tiger? Um, I, I, I guess so, right? But ultimately, I, I just think that this is sour grapes coming from people that are getting you know getting paid more money to do something and they feel like you know Tiger Woods is trying to step on the little guy Pat Perez and they don't like that when when in reality Tiger's being loyal to people that unfortunately ain't really loyal to him if they want to allow him a card exemption you know so let me stay in the conversation let me know your thoughts like this video and share it follow me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram and I'll see y'all next one